What's up, Bargain Family? So today for you guys, I have a Dollar Tree haul. As always, I like to start off my hauls with my favorite item I purchased this week at Dollar Tree, but I'm going to start off with this just to get it off of my head. I bought this at Dollar Tree this week. So it's just some reindeer ears, but it's not like your basic colored reindeer ears. They're green with these little um, pieces of silver glitter on top of them. So I bought these to get a little festive this year. Of course, I'm going to wear them more than just in this video. We always have parties during the holiday season, and we do have themes for our parties. So I know these will come in handy, which by the way, if if you have any like Christmas themed party ideas let me know because like I said we dress up every single year for the Christmas parties and last year we did like um, holiday pajamas the year before that we did um, Christmas characters the year before that we did ugly sweaters so I'm just trying to think of something different and the best I got right now is honestly reindeers I was thinking each of us could be a different reindeer and then somebody could be Santa Claus. I have no clue. This is definitely my favorite Dollar Tree haul I have brought to you guys thus far because everything I got is either new at Dollar Tree or something that you wouldn't expect to buy for a dollar at Dollar Tree. I saw these at Dollar Tree and I was about to be like, come on, ride the train. And ride choo -choo. I'm sure you guys are like, what a train? But when I was younger, that song used to be my jam when I would get excited. My mom would be like, let's go to Toys R Us. And I'd be like, come on, ride the train. So now let me show you guys my favorite item that I purchased this week at Dollar Tree. And that is sunburst mirrors I was able to find at Dollar Tree. There are so many Dollar Tree sunburst mirror DIYs here on YouTube, but you have to, you know, make it yourself. You can go to Dollar Tree right now and just buy the mirror ready, good to go. Now they come in two different colors, gold and silver. So this one right here is my favorite. It's a square one, but I think it looks better if you make it more in that diamond shape. So this one's my favorite. My second favorite is this gold one right here. So it's just like a sunburst mirror. My third favorite is the silver one right here. And my least favorite but it's still nice is this one right here. I saw these and freaked out. I was like they have these for a dollar at Dollar Tree. These are like things you find at Ross and like Walmart and they're three packs and they're like 12 to 15 dollars. But for a dollar you can't beat that. Which let me know which one of these is your favorite but like I said definitely this one is mine. You guys let's give a round of applause to Dollar Tree this week because not only did I find the sunburst mirrors they have new Bolero products in. Now I saw these and I was like awesome because I love bath bombs so they got some Bolero bath bombs in. The Bolero line is pretty decent so I got this one that is almond milk and honey which I already own the almond milk and honey lotion. I really really like the scent of it so we'll see how this one works out. I got this one which is oatmeal shea or is it shea? I think it's shea. And I got this one right here which is lavender and sea salt. I cannot wait to use those. After seeing the Bolero products I found more bath bombs. Now this is not from Bolero. The brand is bath bomb? I don't know actually it just says bath bomb. Anyways I got this one that says I'm really a mermaid and it's blue and purple. I'm really really hoping that it's gonna change the water. This color actually you guys I'm gonna break off a little piece and show you guys in the sink. Okay I got a piece. Seriously smells like coconut. The only thing is this piece is pretty big, so I wouldn't be surprised if this turns blue. In a bathtub, it definitely be different, but let's see what happens. And then I got this one that says over the rainbow, and I can see there is like blue, yellow, and pink in it. So we'll see if this changes the color of the water as well. But I was so happy to find these. And this one says it has a floral scent, and then this blue one says it has a coconut scent. Actually, I'm going to open it up right now, and I'll tell y'all if it really smells like that. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, it smells like coconut. Like 100% this one smells like coconut. But let's see this one. It really smells floral. It smells, ooh, it smells, floor, it smells like a public bathroom when the janitor just cleaned it, like the cleaning products they use. That's what it smells like. Like, uh, the, like it smells like clean public bathroom, a clean school bathroom, a clean hospital bathroom, like, that's what it smells like. So at least it's not a dirty smelling public bathroom, but it smells like a public bathroom. I picked up a pack of the Bolero facial wipes in vanilla cream. They also had like apple cinnamon and just the thought of putting something on my face that has cinnamon in it or a cinnamon scent kind of like makes my skin burn even though you know for all I know it just smells like cinnamon so I didn't get that one I got the vanilla cream and I like the bolero wipes so if you ever run into them you haven't tried them out I suggest picking up a pack and if you like it go and get some more did however get the apple cinnamon hand wash this is the first time I've ever seen the hand wash from bolero at Dollar Tree I haven't used it yet but again I have high hopes for it because the line, I wouldn't say it's the most amazing thing, but for a dollar, it's definitely worth it. 
Like I said, I have a great haul for you guys. Last week I showed you guys my favorite item that I purchased last week and it was the Scissor Mouse by Westcott. Westcott is a name brand. I love their crafting supplies. I love their scissors. I own quite a few of them. So I picked up this Scissor Mouse last week there and it works so well. So I went back to Dollar Tree and I picked up two more but I was able to find them in different designs. So both of them are zebra designs. One is just like a regular zebra pattern and then the other one is a pink um, pattern. People were asking me where I found these at. I found them near the office supplies where you will find the scissors and like paper clips. I cannot recommend these enough. For a dollar they are a great price. Like I would pay more than a dollar for this. It works just amazingly well. Very very sharp and I'm so happy to have found these. I feel like I probably should buy more honestly and give them away as gifts to people that I know love crafting. The first scissor mouse I picked up was at a different Dollar Tree and then I went to another Dollar Tree and I found those two. At the second Dollar Tree I was able to find more Westcott items so I picked up two more different Westcott items. The first one is a pair of scissors. Dollar Tree scissors are not good at all. Like if you cut with them this part right here, the handle like bends into each other. Westcott scissors are not like that at all. They are great quality. So I picked up one. If you can find the Westcott scissors, I highly suggest buying one. Even if you don't need scissors right now, you know, scissors get lost all the time. Pick it up for a dollar now and it's a good quality scissor. Then I was able to find a Westcott compass. I went ahead and I picked one up. These come in handy for me all the time when I'm crafting. So I picked up one, was happy to see it. Like I said, a one Dollar Tree. The next item I purchased at Dollar Tree were these gold jars. Now they're like, I think it's called mercury glass, um, where the glass has like kind of these like little holes inside of them. It's not holes, but like spots where there's no paint and when you have a tea light in there or a candle it looks really, really nice. So I was able to pick up two of these gold ones. It's kind of like, depending on the lighting, sometimes it looks a little bit like a bronze but it's definitely gold. Now they had these in gold and silver. I thought the gold ones were prettier so I picked up two of them. I got a bunch of new wall art decorations for Christmas and they have such pretty ones you guys for a dollar. So the first one I got is this one right here and I really like it because it looks like it would be great for like a woodland themed um, Christmas type of thing. So it's this one right here of a snowman. I just really really like it. The quality is really really good like seriously. I would have to put quite a bit of pressure on this if I wanted to break. Then I got this one of Santa Claus. I think it's really, really nice. Again, I got this sign, which I like a lot. And I like that it's bigger than those two. It says, tis the season. It has like this plaid um, design on the background. And then back down here, it's like a, a wood design. So this one I think is really nice if you do like a woodland thing, Christmas um, decor, or you know, even something like with a little bit more of a farm twist. If you have like a cabin cozy type of home, I think this would look really, really nice there too. This one, the saying honestly sold me. Sorry if you can hear Penny barking. But anyways, this one says, have your elf a merry little Christmas. So it just has like, you know, an elf's shirt. I just really, really like the play on words here. And then I got this one that says Santa Claus is coming to town, which y'all, I need to watch this movie. Woo, woo, woo. I love Christmas. Then I was able to find some burners. I got this one that has a snowflake design and then this one that has a reindeer. They also had a snowman, but I don't really like the snowman. And I plan on using them for DIY. I found this tea light holder. I got two of them. It's just this like reindeer design. I feel like you can make this look really, really cool. Right now, it's pretty basic. It's nice, but I feel like you can make it look like extra glam. Now this was a great deal and I was really, really happy to find it. I was able to find some gold pine cones at Dollar Tree. They have a glitter to them and I was excited about it because the day before I went to Michael's and I, I bought this cap of pine cones. Now it was on sale for $3. Originally it is $6. There's three, six, nine pine cones in here. There are six in here. These are bigger though. So I saw this, thought it was a great deal and I picked up one. So if you're into pine cones, check out your Dollar Tree. I don't suggest though getting bigger pine cones at Dollar Tree because the bigger pine cones, it's a dollar for only three of them. Whereas at Michael's, they had this on sale, three dollars. Comes with way more. Originally it's five dollars, but last times they have coupons. Mm, it smells so good. Cinnamon. Just reminds me of Christmas. Now this thing, I don't think is necessarily the nicest thing I've ever bought from Dollar Tree, but I feel like it has potential. It's just this little jar right here. It kind of looks like a small cookie jar. It says count your blessings and it has just like a little gem that on the top that I really, really like. Down to my final three items and they're all Christmas related still. So I got this little um, snowman ornament right here. It has that little wooden texture to it. I don't know if it's real wood though. I don't think it is. Complies to California standards, codes, okay. 
but I really, really like it. It has this burlap that says Joy with a little pine cone. I got this sled. It has a burlap design on it as well. This kind of looks like toothpicks it a little bit, but for a dollar, I thought it was really nice. Finally, I got this motion sensing snowman. So, I mean, you have to turn him on. <laughs> Anyways, okay, you need to be quiet now. I thought he was really, really cute, and he lights up into different colors. Now, the thing is, I don't think you want to keep this on all the time because it really is motion censoring, and it will keep going off. So that is it for this week's Dollar Tree haul. I told you guys, this is my favorite one I've done all year because the sunburst mirrors, the Westcott products, and the bath bombs really take it up a notch. So as always, I like to end my Dollar Tree hauls with a question for you guys. Now, last week, I wanted to know when you guys normally start decorating for Christmas and hands down by, like, the greatest landslide ever, um, it was after Thanksgiving. Most of you guys start decorating after Thanksgiving, but there were a few of you guys who are more a little bit true to my own heart and start decorating a little bit beforehand because you know Christmas is life. For this week's Dollar Tree haul question, what I want to know is what is your favorite Christmas movie of all time? My favorite is A Christmas Story. I've always loved The Christmas Story. My dad's always been a really really big fan and when we dressed up that one year I was telling you guys um, as Christmas characters I was the leg from A Christmas Story, the leg lamp, and then my boyfriend was the dad. A Christmas Story hands down my favorite Christmas movie ever. So let me know what your favorite Christmas movie is down in the comments below. If you don't have a favorite Christmas movie because I know some people they're not like a big fan of Christmas movies, let me know what your favorite holiday movie is is whether it's like Halloween or an Easter movie. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye! I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Only a hippopotamus will do. I don't want a doll. No dinky tinker toy. I want a hippopotamus to play with and enjoy. If you know what song I am singing, down in the comments below, let me know. The first time I ever heard that song was on that Christmas radio station and I was like, what? is this and apparently it's like some girl she was singing about a hippopotamus she wanted to get a hippopotamus at her zoo i think that was why the song was written i'm not 100 percent sure youtube that song you'll either thank me or hate me anyways i'm gonna let you guys go take care bye